I'll go shopping and spend $3,000. Um, and that's, that's a lot of money. I looked at my closet the other day, believe it or not, and I, I noticed that when I do buy expensive things, they can, they can stay in my wardrobe for 10 years. And so I rationalized it by thinking that I'm amortizing it over 120 months and I may wear it, you know, once every other month. So I really wore it 60 times and if it cost this, then it really didn't cost that much. I probably have 85 pairs of shoes in my closet. I like shoes. I like sneakers. I like to wear fun gym shoes. Even with the suit, I think it spices things up. I don't spend money on jewelry. I don't wear a watch or wear a necklace. Um, I don't have multiple cars. I don't buy expensive wine. Anything more than 20 bucks for a bottle of wine feels uh, kind of all tastes the same to me. I don't do it because I think it sends a bad message. I try to be conscious when you're investing in small businesses and you're making that part of who you are, part of your DNA, I think you need to be very conscious, small business, big business, whatever it may be, very conscious of the message that you're sending to people. People understand that if you've achieved a level of success, you're entitled to enjoy that success. But there's a difference between enjoying that success and opulence. And I think as millennials became a bigger part of the workforce, uh, they held owners, like myself, to higher standards. And I think millennials do a very good job of keeping things real and keeping things leveled and keeping modesty at the forefront. It sends a message to our customers that we're modest. It sends a message to our teammates that we're modest. And it probably sends a message to your neighbors that you're modest.